press refers to the right to publish and communicate information, ideas and opinions without restriction or censorship. Acts that control freedom of press, which are Seditions Act 1948, Official Secret Act 1972, Communication and Multimedia Act 1998. Freedom of press is a right for the media and the public to pay attention to the society. According to 2022 World Press Freedom Index, Malaysia Press Freedom Index ranking rose from 119 in 2021 to 113. According to ACE Electoral Knowledge Network in 2012, mass media are straightforwardly controlled by the state or government. In more closely regulated environments, the state may censor materials that it judged to be unlawful to the government, as well as control media content. In addition, the state-run media is only allowed to cover legislation after it has been passed into law in an effort to quash debate. State media often has more government influence in environments where there is greater competition, and they are unable to offer more impartial reporting than media that is not controlled by the government. There are two composing theories of state control over the media, which include the public interest theory and the public choice theory. According to the public interest theory, government ownership is advantageous, while the public choice theory contends that state control undercuts economic and political liberties. Both theories have consequence and determinants of media ownership. According to the public interest theory, more innocuous governments should have greater control over the media, which would increase press freedom as well as political and economic freedoms. The public choice theory asserts that the opposite is true. The public spirited benevolent governments should have less control, thereby increasing these freedoms. In countries where the state has more control over the media, journalists are less independent and more agile. For example, in countries with a high level of government ownership, such as Singapore, harassment and increased internet censorship occur. Countries with a complete state monopoly on the media, such as North Korea, in which state control is so strong that no journalistic harassment is needed to limit the press freedom. In short, mass media has an impact on social order, political accountability, and the formulation and implementation of public policy. Therefore, there are arguments from those who demand maximum control over the mass media. Now I would like to present about the argument of those who call for the minimum control of the mass media. News is mostly spread through reporting and mass media. Many facts and cases that do not occur in our immediate environment can be presented to us honestly and fairly through relevant media, and this can have an impact on our views or the way we think. This is also the primary flaw of the development of news as a social phenomenon. We can easily see how the world has evolved, how times have changed, and how our living environment has transformed due to this fair and impartial explanation of occurrence on mass media. The emergence of news communication itself aspires to play a positive role in public perception, particularly for our country. For minimum control of the mass media, which means the society practice the freedom of the press, it protects the truth of some issues and lets people and society know the truth, especially the issue happening in their country, as people have the right to know what is going on in their country. Besides, minimum control of the mass media upholds the freedom of the speaker. We will be able to use the news through value and function, progress toward the creation of a socialist society characterized by harmony, and ultimately realize the grand objective of development. Thus, people must have access to argument from all sides of an issue to preserve their freedom to consider and make decisions. That's all for my part. Thank you. So now I'll explain about the people's rights of to be protected in the exercise of press freedom. So the first reason is to avoid unwarranted exposure and privacy violations, which even leading to second degree trauma, especially reporting about sexual assault, harassment, rape, abuse, and child persecution cases. People have many rights and the right to privacy is one of them. So in the exercising of press freedom, pseudonyms is applied, which is aliases the person's real names involved in the case and info of addresses, contact numbers, portraits, and other related personal identity information are reserved to. As an example, based on Oriental Daily News Online in 2019, they are exercising the freedom of the press, adhering to the spirit of real-time preemptive and exclusive reporting of sexual assault of teenagers by religious figures. Although they do their best to obtain the details of the incident through various channels, the report narrows down the location of the victims and made it public without reservation, and the disclosure of these details made it easy to infer the identity of the victims, which did not protect their privacy. 
So next is to encourage people to express their critical and constructive thoughts rather than hate speech that follows the majority of public opinion without thinking. And also know how to use their rights in the correct way, especially in freedom of speech. If the people's right is protected in the exercise of press freedom, it will promote public interaction with media and government, the culture of accountability, as well as social responsibility. For instance, media report the case of Ayn in 2021, which she posted them on TikTok about a male teacher in her school joking about rape and related to sexual assault issue. At the time, Ayn briefly spoke out for this kind of incident but suffered malicious comments. The media exercised the press freedom and upheld justice. This had turned public opinion and more victims with similar experiences attempt to speak up. In addition, the control of press freedom affects people's right to know. This is also related to the right to privacy. When exercising press freedom to report news of public interest, the right to privacy must give way to the right to know. If the public right to know is not guaranteed, it will consume the public trust in the government and the media. For example, the China has made matters worse by hiding the severity of coronavirus outbreak and blocking the visitor bubble. On the other hand, we also believe that people's rights would not to be protected in the exercise of press freedom is because of human rights-based duty of journalists and the limitation of their rights. Modern society needs the supervision of news and public opinion, and journalists need to be good at and dare to use the power of supervision to expose the ugly phenomena. Because the media has the moral responsibility to ensure that citizens are aware to specific instances of corruption or disease by those in power. However, the Malaysian government increased the use of criminal law to target credit such as its focus on human rights standard is rapidly decreasing. For example, a police have filed criminal charge against two Malaysian kidney journalists for reporting on police brutality that result in the death of the kidney. Reporting government misconduct is the job of journalists, but instead of conducting the critical investigation into allegation of uh, police abuse, Malaysia authorities investigate the journalists. It makes us think that because of the human rights too protected and people are abusing to legitimate the human rights to protect themselves, the government must treat everyone fairly and should not protect the people's rights too much and should be decided according to the situation that uh, human rights need to be more protection rather than blindly to following the uh, establish the laws to protect the human rights. Most people think that a healthy democracy requires freedom of speech and agree that the press should be allowed to broadcast news and opinion without fair and retaliation. However, the extent to which control should be exercised over the mass media is still a matter of debate. It is important to remember that with freedom comes responsibility and the media have an obligation to maintain a certain level of accuracy and objectivity in their reporting. Furthermore, the media has a responsibility to the public to ensure that its content does not spread for information and does not promote the hatred or discrimination. By ensuring that the press is held accountable for its reporting, it can be more transparent and reliable. This balance ensures that the press has a freedom to report the affair while also upholding its duty to provide accurate and responsible information. A balance between minimal control and maximal control must be found to protect citizens' right to freedom of speech while also ensuring social responsibility. In a nutshell, those who call for minimal control over mass media argue that it is an essential part of a functioning democracy where the public can be trusted to make informed decisions about the media content presented. On the other hand, those who call for maximum media control argue that it is unnecessary to prevent the spread of false and inflammatory information that could lead to the political unrest and civil disobedience. In the end, it is important to recognize that the press freedom should be balanced and with the responsibility to ensure a safe and informed society. Governments should strike and strike a balance between the press freedom and the responsibility to ensure safe and free expression. The right of the press to report on matters of public concern is highly respected in many societies, and there is a general agreement that this freedom must be protected. After all, the media plays a vital role in keeping citizens informed about info important events at home and abroad. Governments should therefore foster a safe environment in which journalists and their other media workers can operate freely while upholding the right to a free press. At the same time, it is important to recognize the responsibilities that come with a free press.